On 27th June this year, President Yoweri Museveni presided over the rallies of the 2024 National Population and Housing Census preliminary results, which indicated how Uganda's population has significantly increased by 11.3 million persons from 34.6 million people in 2014 to 45.9 million people in 2024. This, however, according to President Museveni, did not satisfactorily provide answers to five major questions of how many, where are we, how are we living, what do we own, and where do we access services. He demanded Ubers to provide answers in the final results. You need to change the organic structure of the society to start pushing for new ideas. Not simply say, have less children, ah, this one here. Because even that, that belief that we don't want to be counted is actually partly part of that problem. Addressing the media at Uganda Media Center in Kampala today, Dida Kaso Koth, the principal communications officer at UBOS, revealed how these questions have been fully answered and results ready for dissemination. The results which we shall be hearing, which will be released tomorrow, will answer the five key questions that were given to us by His Excellency the President in Kololo in December 2023. The questions included how many we are, that is the population of Uganda, how are we living, do we live in permanent structures, do we live in the same permanent structures, and so on and so forth. What do we own? For example, do you own a mobile phone that you can access information, you can communicate, do we access services from, for example, the hospitals, the markets, the banking services or financial services, the circles, the loan schemes, the, the education facilities, and so on and so forth. Didakas asked the public to expect to receive the latest census results, appreciating the government for funding the exercise 99% plus other development partners. I would like to wish to inform the general public that the final results for the national population and housing census is now ready and it will be disseminated on a Thursday, 3rd October 2024, which is tomorrow. This is in line with the census roadmap and is also hinged on the promise that was made by the census commissioner, Dr. Chris Mokiza. When asked about the success of the post enumeration survey exercise, Didakas responded this way. The UN recommends that you do a post enumeration survey so that in case you identify any gap that can be generated, that information, and can be included in the main report. That was done. We did it successfully across the whole country. And we ensured that in every district or every city, there was an enumeration area, what we call Okay, statistical is a numeration area, but sometimes it can be a village, it can be an LC1 area, something of that kind. Now over Betty, the head of communications department at Hubos, also made it clear on how the Bureau has tried its best to clear the census officials. She provided the current statistics. Enumerators, tuwa kasasula ko obutundu, chenda monana no obutundu muenda. Ngachira ganti, tusigaza yo. Akatundu nga kamu 1.1 yeta nava kusasulua. Elanga ababana abata nava kusasulua. Bali lukumi, mchikumi, mchenda mokaga. According to Yubo's preliminary report, there was a rise in the number of households from 7 million 245,000 to 145 in 2014 to 10 million 845,119 in 2024. It also started Uganda as a young country with 50.5% comprising children between the age of 0 to 17, the young between 18 to 30 standing at 22.7%. All the persons of six and above standing at 5.0 percent, while the working age population of 14 to 64 standing at 55.6 percent. John Baptista Humza, Church of Uganda, Family TV News at 8.